Hello everyone, my name is Sasi Shekhar and today I'm gonna be giving you an overview of CGI architecture. So uh, CGI generally stands for Common Gateway Interface. It is a mechanism designed by designers to allow a user or to permit a user to invoke a web program from a web server. So as this is a simple CGI architecture, architecture when one request is made, uh, you can see the request is made and request is uh, carried through HTTPD and here HTTPD stands for domain specific. <clears throat> so uh, the main process of carrying the request and the response is carried by HTTP. And then uh, when in CGI architecture, when a request is invoked, the server creates a special CGI shell and then CGI shell executes the request and then sends it to CGI program and then CGI program passes the request and sends back to the, the user. So the main thing we have to consider here is the server load. You can see there is not a very much heavy load to the server. So let's see what happens when multiple user tries to access a server designed on a CGI architecture. So as you can see, there are three requests sent to the server and every request and a special CGI cell is created. So uh, you can see here the drawback of CGI. For every request, it creates a special CGI cell and hence increasing the server load. And then uh, CGI, as I said before, CGI sends uh, the request back to the CGI program. So uh, you can see here the processor load has increased drastically. So the main problem is CGI that is it's not scalable. Just for example, if 50,000 users are trying to access a CGI designed architecture, then uh, the server may not handle the request. Uh, there are also multiple drawbacks of CGI architecture. Just for example, generally CGI is not uh, secure and not uh, generally programmed in object oriented languages. And also the response time is slow. Um, it's obvious because um, for every request, it creates a special CGI cell. So the response time is also slow. So uh, th this is a basic overview of uh, CGI architecture. And if you want to get an explanation of CGI architecture a bit more, then please comment. Uh, I will explain all the advantages and disadvantages of CGI architecture. Uh, in next session, we will uh, get an overview of a servlet. Servlet reduces all these things. Why? We will see in our next video. So uh, for time being, if you like the video, please comment, please like it, please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.